Merry Christmas. Hope you all are ready for the holiday season because it's finally here. Thanks for joining us on our last episode of Tiger Television for the year, but don't worry, we'll be back after the new year. I'm Cody Bartles, your Tiger Television Production Director. And I'm Addie Lounsbury, your Student Director. Cody and I have the pleasure of anchoring today to get a look on the other side of the camera. We have a great show with coverage of the wrestling team, the Polar Express, and a surprise section. Stay tuned right after this. With the holiday season approaching, the Polar Express is also ready to take people on a train ride to the North Pole. On this kid-friendly ride, you get to meet the Snow Princess and get to tell Santa all of your wishes for this year and he gives each and every child a special gift. Thousands ride the Polar Express each year, enjoying the sights and sounds of Christmas. Braden Gers got an inside look at the trip and what it takes to make it all possible. I am here at the North Pole Engine Shop where I had the opportunity to check out the North Pole Express that takes children to see Santa Claus each and every year. Here is what Jerry Crouch, a man in charge, has to say about it. Uh, Polar Express got started, uh, I think, the following year after we did our ghost train, so it's probably been at least 15 years, I think, right now that we've been running uh, North Pole Express. It's been a popular event uh, over the years, so keeps uh, going well. So, What makes it possible? Um, a lot of the things is that uh, we do such a good job at the event that people, word of mouth has got people to keep coming back. Uh, the trains keep selling out every year. Uh, this year was only five days before it was completely sold out and that's like 4,200 people that we put on the train. So. Uh, to sell that many tickets in five days, it's got to be a popular event that everybody wants to keep coming back for. So, For the thousands of kids who come to the Polar Express every year, a favorite of theirs is to see Santa Claus to reveal their Christmas wish list. I want a crayfish. What else? Come over. Um, and Nerf guns, and Legos, and like Holy Cross. An iPad. And what did you ask Santa for Christmas? As you can see, the Polar Express tickets are a hot commodity during a cold season. Just remember, if you want tickets for next year, make sure you check out the Midwest Central Railroad website right at the beginning of November next year. Thanks, Braden. Sure looks like fun. The Polar Express is not the only thing that comes with winter, but also wrestling season. No longer teamed up with Winfield Mount Union, the New London Tigers wrestling team steps on the mat with a new energy this year. Janice Sinclair has more. This is Janice Sinclair from Tiger Television bringing you the scoop on everybody's favorite sport, wrestling. With the 2013-14 wrestling season underway, I caught up with a few of your Tiger wrestlers and asked them what their goals for the season were. I'm Tyler Shinko, I wrestle 132 and my goal is to have a winning record. My name is Avery Jacobs, I wrestle heavyweight, and my goal is to make it to state this year. Hi, my name is Kyle Oliver, I wrestle 160, and my goal is to win a couple matches this year. My name is Mateo Kushner, and I'm the 182 pounder. Uh, my personal goal is to become a sectional champ. I'm Tyler Schneider, I wrestle 138, and my goal for the season is to wrestle my last tournament this Saturday and hopefully win. You can tell these boys are excited for this season, so go out and help the cheerleaders cheer on your Tiger wrestlers. This has been Janice Sinclair. Thank you.
Thanks, Janice. Good luck with the rest of the season, boys. Make sure to go support them tomorrow at their varsity wrestling tournament at Fort Madison starting at 10. Don't forget about basketball either. JV boys, varsity girls, and varsity boys have a game tonight at Holy Trinity at 4.30. That will round up the activities for the rest of the year until school resumes in January. As a fun way to kick off the holidays, let's take a look at how much New London students know their Christmas tunes. This is Sammy Coons with KTTV with students trying to guess favorite Christmas carols. Okay, so how are we gonna, like, I don't know what to say here. Yeah. Are we ready for corridors? Um, I don't know, man. <laughs> You're gonna have to tell me. I don't know. Are you sure? Is it Dick? Am I supposed to? Is it Dick? <laughs> 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 uh. <laughs> um. I think it means peace on earth. Okay, peace on earth. Yeah. Peace uh, on earth? We think it means peace on earth. No. What? Um, what is it? Um. Wait, Wrecking ball? <laughs> <laughs> is it that Anchorman song? That's afternoon delight. <laughs> I don't know. Um. <laughs> Do we just keep going until we get it? Uh, joy, joy to <laughs> the world. Here comes Here comes Santa, Santa Claus. Claus. White Christmas. White Christmas. Thanks, guys. Everyone have a great break. This has been Sammy Coons with KTTV. Thanks, Sammy. How did you do, Cody? Guess any right? Almost all of them, Maddie. You know, Christmas is one of my favorite times of the year. I love it, too. I love New Year's also. It's great to look back on the things that happened this year. A lot went on this year, from the Pope resigning to the government shutting down and the royal baby being born. And, of course, the love for Duck Dynasty has only grown over the past year. We also had to say goodbye to some amazing actors this year, like Paul Walker and Glee's Corey Monteith, along with world leaders like Nelson Mandela. And you can't forget about the new dances, including the twerking fad, the Harlem Shake, and gas pedal. Another unforgettable thing this 2013 year is new Miley Cyrus's new behavior. Selfies. selfies! And how about all the selfies? Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook all have selfies uploaded every day and are only growing more popular. What Did the Fox Say was a popular song, as well as Royals and Wrecking Ball. Monsters University, The Heat, The Conjuring, and The Great Gatsby were all very popular films of 2013. Jennifer Lawrence, Miley Cyrus, and Kim Ye, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West, were top three in the top ten most fascinating people of the year. I hope you all had a great year, and I hope 2014 is even better. From everybody at Tiger Television, we wish you a happy and safe holiday season and a great start to the new year. We'll, we will see you in 2014. Thanks for joining us on Tiger, Tiger Television. Television.